if you've been in the business world, maybe you've heard of the iron triangle. The idea is so fast, good, and cheap, pick two. Right? This, you, can, you, you, you can only get two of those three things. Um, I heard it actually, my friend Jennifer told me, I had another one about effort and things like that, but she had a much smoother one. Um, success in school, a social life, sleep, pick two. Right? So you can, you can pick any two of those, but you don't, get to have, you don't get to have all three. So you can have a social life and sleep a lot, but you're, you're not going to succeed in school. So that, I love that idea of an iron triangle, but I decided not to talk about that because I didn't want to talk about the four burners instead. So the four burners theory says that all of us have four burners. Some have more, but that's why I put kind of the slashes. But the four burners they talk about with the four burners theory is family, friends, work, and health. So the, the theory goes this way. All four burners can't be on high all the time. So just like with the Iron Triangle, you can only get two of those three. Well, so, at, so basically, if you want to be good at something, one of these burners has to be turned down. And if you want to be really good at something, two of these burners have to be turned down. That's the four burners theory. You have family, friends, work, and health. If you want to be good, turn down one. If you want to be great, turn down two. So, and we'll talk about that. How do you turn, how do you choose two of these things? How do you turn them down? Well, there are seasons in your life. So like, so personally looking at this for myself, um, my family burner is churn, churn, churn them right along, work burner, churn them right along. The third one would be health, but I can't, I can't have the health goals I did when I was younger. When I was single, living in Cherokee with no, no wife, no children, I took two hour long walks every day. Like I, I, nothing against Cherokee, but there wasn't a lot going on. And I, and I, so uh, I took two hour long walks a day. Now, I still, we, we ride bikes, take walks, those kind of things, but, but I can't do that. I was taking two hour long walks a day plus a bunch of strength training and things like that. Um, though, some of those things have had to be cut. Have had to be cut. So that's, that's just the reality. So my, my, my health burner is not where I want it to be, but I'm not willing to sacrifice the other two, the family and work burners to get there. And the, and the friends one, man, my, I, I might see my friends once a year. So that, that burner is basically turned off. That's how I can do what I do. I, I, my life looks different than a lot of people's lives, but it allows me to do what I do. So, so, which, so look at these four burners. What's the, what's the one that you're not messing with? It's going to stay on high. And then, so really, you can do that with two of them. So what, what are the two burners that you want cranking on high? And then what are you going to do with the other two? So this is, this can, there are seasons, right? So as a student, during the semester, your student burner you know, student slash work burner, it's going to have to be really high. So does that mean that you should, you know, so during the semester, should you be doing volleyball leagues or bowling, do they call it bowling leagues? Or um, should you be going out on Thursday nights and getting hammered, right? Those burners have to come down. Doesn't mean they're all, so, but then there, then there are times when you're not a student and you can, and hopefully reconnect with your friends. You can do things like that. So that's the four burners theory. So hopefully I've made sense of that as far as um, what we need to do here. So how do we influence this? So school, so I'm primarily here to talk to students. If, if school is not your priority until you're willing to give other things up for it. So, at, so as a student, unless, unless you make school a priority, then it, it, it's not going to be one, and you haven't made it a priority unless you get rid of something else, unless because you don't have any more time. You got to be smarter about it. So there are different ways to do that. I put that picture on there because that's that kind of has to go right. So if that if that's how you spend your Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday nights, we know which burner should be turned down. He looks like he's having fun, and, I, and I'm all for having fun. But uh, but work, you know, school is work. So and what what if school and work are the conflict though? I'm always counseling students, you know, students are telling me about how busy they are, and we don't start with, well, you should work less, because we have to take care of our families. We start with things like, how much time are you spending on social media? How much TV are you watching, right? These are the things we start with. But if someone truly is, like that single parent that is just like, I can't even believe what, believe what they're accomplishing, and, and work may have to go, well, that's where we start to talk about things like budgeting. Maybe you can budget so you can work one less night a week. Or I just had a student earlier this semester where they were talking about working less and I kind of said, you know, what I would do in your situation is, is keep working now, a, maybe a little more than you want to, so you can work quite a bit less later when you get into the nursing program, which is a lot more time intensive. So may, maybe, maybe work and school are going to be at odds, but usually I would focus on the social life stuff, the, those, kind, those kind of burners first. So what are we going to turn down? Well, you start with things that won't hurt your life. And that, that's going to be things like that. So, uh, 
uh, when, I, when I was a student, I was a student right here. Um, you know, we did, we, 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 we did uh, Wednesday nights, I think we went to Fort Dodge. Thursday nights we went to Wayne. Like, that was, that was, our, that was our life. But that wasn't, uh, you know, if you want to make school a priority, then these are the kind of things that, uh, that you shouldn't be doing. So what can you get rid of that won't hurt your life? I'm not telling you to quit your job and get kicked out of your house because you can't pay your bills. But what can you, which burners can you turn down without, without, um, without hurting your life too much? So what's just not going to fit while you're a student? And if you have friends that are dragging you behind because because they're not really doing anything and maybe all their burners are turned down except for their social life burner, their, their friend's burner, that's the kind of person that you may have to cut ties with. So I definitely don't want you, you know, burning bridges and hurting other people. Like if you've, if you've made promises, I would do everything I can to keep those promises. But I tell students to let people know, like, I will, I'll finish this volleyball league, but I'm just not going to be around next year, right? Or don't even call me about the softball league coming up because I have to make school and my family my priority. So what burner are you willing to turn down? This leads to something, I actually wrote about this in my book, uh, my book I wrote in 2008 called the, about the edu education paradox, which is students come here because they want a better life. Like, you know, single mothers, single fathers that are here, they're here because they want a better life for their family. But while they're in school, life's gonna be really hard, right? That's what's the paradox about it. You, so if you, if you can make it through school, you can carve out a better life for your family. But while you're in school, your life is going to be very, very difficult. So if you are a student and you are a parent and you are working, especially if you're on your own, I know, you know, me and my wife struggle to do everything we have to do. I can't imagine how people do it on their own. I, I mean, I truly can. I'm, I'm so impressed with the students that do. Uh, the ones, they're working, they're working late, and, they're, and they're, they're coming to school, haven't even been to sleep, and they're taking care of their children. That's unbelievable. But it is going to be difficult. So what I try to tell students is explain to your kids that life's going to be hard. If it's your children, life's going to be difficult. But I'm not taking time away from you. I'm taking time for you, right? I'm trying to carve out a better life for us, and it's going to take sacrifice. And I, and I don't like when my kids have to sacrifice, but the reality is if they're old enough to understand that, that you need, you need them on board with you. The fact that uh, this is going to be difficult, but I'm doing it for you. So... Um, so the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I, you know, like, so like, you know, your kids are going to have to have more PB and J's, but they, they, they take that plus better quality time with you any day, right? So, um, so we got to, we got to focus on the positives. What I mean by that is you're showing your kids the value of an education. You're becoming a better role model for your kids. Like, yeah, you don't have as much time. You're going to miss some soccer games and these kind of things, but think about the positives that come from that. So very, very difficult to be, to be a parent and student at the same time. So you should ask for help if possible. Never feel bad about that. If, you are, if you're completely overburdened because you have a job and you have children and you have school, all, all those burners have to stay on, right? I'm not, I, that's why I don't, I don't tell students, well, have you tried going part-time? It's like, well, I can, I'm working full-time. I can barely pay my bills. So if you truly have these three burners that have to stay lit, then you're going to need help. And what, whatever that whatever that is, right? So like we, um, uh, if 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 the in-laws can help out, or um, if you can get someone to help you every other Saturday to watch your kids for a few hours, you can get caught up on work. I don't know. You you have to be creative. But um, if you're blessed enough to have people in your life that are on your team that will help you, take advantage of that, and and don't feel bad about it. Because same thing, I I don't want to be a burden on my parents or my in-laws. I'd rather do that than, than be a burden on my, on my kids. So uh, you, have to be, you have to be willing to ask for help because if you don't, then you're, you're actually adding more stress to your children. And I think that's, that's really important. So if you are, if you're a learning parent, if you have a, if, if being a parent has to be a number one priority, then you've got to be a lot more creative about how you can be a student at the same time.